BlueStacks is a Windows application that allows you to run Android apps on your PC. The software's basic capabilities are free to use, but the more sophisticated features require a paid monthly membership. Despite the fact that this is a high performing platform, it's not perfect and it has certain drawbacks. In this video, we'll look into the ways to fix BlueStacks crashing issue on Windows. It is preferable to restart your computer before doing any of the recommended troubleshooting steps in this video. This procedure will refresh the operating system and delete any corrupt temporary data that may be causing the issue. If you have a non-gaming PC, it's possible that its hardware may be insufficient to efficiently run BlueStacks. Make sure that you check the system requirements before troubleshooting any problem. Corrupted BlueStacks software is one of the things that might cause this problem. If this is the case, you must remove BlueStacks from your computer before downloading and installing the newest version from the official website. Press Windows key plus R to open up a run box, then type appwiz.cpl and hit enter to open programs and features. In programs and features, scroll through the application list, right click on BlueStacks and choose uninstall. Then follow the on screen prompts to remove the current version of BlueStacks from your system. Once the old version of BlueStacks has been uninstalled, reboot your computer. Go to this website, download the BlueStacks installer, then follow the on screen prompts to install the latest version on your system. Another reason why BlueStacks is crashing can be a problem with your computer's graphics drivers. To upgrade the GPU drivers, follow these steps. Right click on the start icon from the power user menu. Select device manager. Navigate to display adapters and expand this section. Right click your graphics device and click update driver. There are times when an antivirus application will interfere with BlueStacks functionality. To see if this is the source of the problem, try disabling the antivirus you have. This includes the built-in Windows Defender if you have it running. Once you've disabled your antivirus, try running BlueStacks again and see if that fixes the problem. Keep in mind that BlueStacks is not malware and is usually allowed to run by antivirus programs. You can reconfigure your antivirus so it exempts BlueStacks and allow it to run. Hyper-B is a software virtualization program that virtualizes applications. It is also capable of virtualizing complete hardware components like hard disks and network switches. This can, however, interfere with the operation of BlueStacks, therefore you should try to disable it. Open a run box by pressing the Windows key plus R then, type appwiz.cpl and hit enter to open programs and features. In programs and features, use the menu on the left hand side to click on turn Windows features on or off. In the Windows feature box, scroll down and uncheck the box associated with Hyper-B and click OK. Wait until the service is disabled, then reboot your computer. If the aforementioned procedures do not resolve the issue, you should perform a system restore to a moment when BlueStacks was operating normally. Open a run box by pressing the Windows key plus R. Type this and hit enter to open the system restore wizard. Windows Restore Wizard, click next at the first prompt, then check the box associated with show more restore points in order to get a complete overview with all the available restore points. Select the restore point that is older than the date in which you started experiencing the BlueStacks crashes and hit the next button. Click finish to start the restoring process. At the end of this procedure, your computer will restart directly in the older state. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.